Hey there, I'm Joe Pronger Faulkner. I'm the author and publisher of the Autoimmune Warriors Healing Key. And I also published Absolute Will and was in The Truth About Success. So today I wanted to read to you from this book and it's chapter nine that I'm gonna be reading. And the title of the chapter is called The Endocrine System. Rock bottom can be a hard reality and it's from this place learning from either our own experiences or someone else's that we become most determined to change. Are you feeling sick and tired, chronically exhausted, muscle weakness, stomach pain, low blood pressure, depression, brain fog? We have the same cells and tissues in our gut as in our brain. Functional medicine experts on the leading edge of research are now referring to the gut as our second brain and referring to brain fog and cognitive impairment as leaky brain. Have you been told your hormones are out of balance or has a friend suggested your adrenals are shot? Now that you know about conscious language, which is in an earlier chapter in this book, now that you know about conscious language, you are probably realizing this is not an ideal way to describe anything to do with your body or health. Adrenal fatigue isn't the cause and neither is lupus or a low thyroid or any type of other similar disease or illness. By definition from Oxford languages, a disease is, quote, a disorder of structure or function in a human animal or plant, especially one that produces specific signs or symptoms or that affects a specific location and is not simply a direct result of physical injury, end quote. The illness, disease, or condition is not the cause of or reason for your symptoms. The illness, disease, or condition is the name given to the group of symptoms that you happen to have. Humans love to label things. These are a way to give a name or identifier to a cluster of symptoms commonly found in many people. Often diseases are named after the person who first had the symptoms or from the region of the world where these symptoms were first discovered or may have been the name of the doctor or scientist who discovered the symptoms in a patient who was ill. Most doctors agree there are around 80 conditions that are considered autoimmune in nature. Many say there are over 100 and some science leaders are now saying that the number is closer to 200. These illnesses have something important in common, a malfunctioning endocrine system. The endocrine system is a chemical messenger system inside your body that gives and receives instructions to and from the organs called glands. This entire system regulates body functions and controls your emotions, thoughts, and processing. The glands of the endocrine system are the co communication link between brain and body. If those are not communicating correctly with each other, no matter how healthy you think you are being, your body and mind will not function properly. In a visual sense, think of the glands as a neighborhood of houses with trails and pathways connecting each of the households to each other. Hundreds of postal workers, our hormones, are busy throughout the neighborhood carrying mail, messages with instructions, to each of the houses at the same time. It's a buzzing little community with a lot going on. These messages instruct each of the households, which are the organs or glands, to do certain tasks and they keep the entire neighborhood, the endocrine system, working collaboratively together. This endocrine system, chemical messenger system, regulates everything from our sleep, behavior, excretion and metabolism to our growth, stress, mood, tissue function, digestion, and more. Visualize the postal messengers delivering mail telling each of the households what to do, when to do it, and how often to do it. Each household needs to also know what the others are doing so the entire neighborhood can thrive together as a community. But sometimes early in our lives, some of these postal workers get interrupted, flustered, and mix up the messages they deliver to each house. The mail and packages look similar and the messengers are confused. The households are also confused because the packages look familiar, but they can't quite decipher the instructions. The households at first are often able to compensate and figure out what the right message or instruction should have been. Other times the households may perform the wrong task 
because of incorrect messaging instructions, but it happens so sporadically the rest of the neighborhood doesn't notice. Overall, the community is still humming along cohesively. Over a longer period of time, these postal workers can continue to mix up the messages, deliver messages that don't make sense to the households or not deliver them at all. Eventually, with each household not performing all of its required tasks for the good of the community, the neighborhood starts to go downhill. The endocrine system is what triggers the glands to release hormones into the bloodstream so your organs and the rest of your body can function. This is why it's imperative that this system functions at a peak level. You will die if it fully shuts down. Adrenal fatigue is a sign your endocrine system is starting its downward spiral. Adrenal fatigue isn't the cause of your illness. Your adrenal glands are malfunctioning for some underlying reason. Your adrenal house isn't receiving the proper instructions in the mail because of a disruption somewhere in the messenger system. Lupus is also a sign of a malfunctioning endocrine system, as is mixed connective tissue disease, irritable bowel syndrome, and all of the thyroid diseases, and diabetes, and so many more. Hopefully this is making sense so far, and by now you are wondering what actually causes the messengers to get interrupted and flustered in the first place. After all, this seems to be where the neighborhood plan goes awry, right? Critical thinking by digging deeper will increase your knowledge and propel you towards recovery rather than sitting back and thinking you're stuck with a messenger service that doesn't know what it's doing. Ask questions, analyze, and always keep an open mind about learning. Science is continually evolving and the more you read, from credible sources of course, the more informed you will be about your body, your physical health, your mental health, and your options. Don't rely on one doctor or one study. Get used to perusing PubMed and other science-based articles frequently. Yes, they can be dry and boring sometimes, but I've had some epiphanies reading PubMed articles. There are also some great functional medicine professionals who share information freely on social media. Gradually, you'll begin to absorb the research and become much more confident about your knowledge and the decisions you make from here on in. Root causes of autoimmune disease. Many substances in the environment mimic or interfere with the body's hormones. They are known as endocrine disruptors. They interrupt or disrupt the messenger delivery system. In simplistic terms, the endocrine system, which as you now know, regulates so many of the body's everyday necessary functions, is also involved in regulating the immune response. This is the connection to autoimmune diseases. Autoimmune diseases occur when the immune system perceives parts of the body as foreign and starts an immune response of fighter cells, white blood cells, to attack and eliminate them. If we continue to dig a little deeper, this process stems from the dysregulation of the endocrine system. The job of white blood cells is to fight off dangerous viruses, bacteria, and fungus that sometimes get inside our body but with an autoimmune response, these fighter cells recognize something isn't right and they need to fight it off. They begin to think healthy tissue is also foreign and needs to be attacked. This results in inflammation, which causes pain throughout the body, including in tissues and joints, migraines, digestive issues, chronic fatigue, pelvic pain, mood disorders, and other debilitating symptoms and additional diagnoses that those with autoimmune diseases often struggle with. Reducing inflammation is an excellent focal point when deciding to make a change. Through my story, I'm showing you how I did it and how you can too. Have you got thyroid issues? Unexplained weight gain? Have you wondered why so many middle-aged women are on thyroid medication? Or why so many people are diagnosed with lupus and other autoimmune conditions these days? There is a common denominator linking us all, and it isn't genetics. The Center for Disease Control website says the causes of SLE lupus are unknown, but are believed to be linked to environmental, genetic, and hormonal factors. Translation, environmental toxins, lifestyle, what we eat, how resilient we are against chronic stress, and hormone endocrine issues, which are also likely from toxins and stress. And this goes for so many other illnesses, um, not just systemic lupus. Many medical experts, as well as those who have turned their health around like I have, 
believe our genetics actually play an extremely limited role in our health trajectory. When endocrine disrupting chemicals block the connections between your hormones and their receptors, they reprogram the areas that govern metabolism, energy balance, and appetite, among other things. As one of numerous consequences, these chemicals change your sensitivity to glucose, sugar, and your metabolism of lipids, fatty acids. This predisposes you to weight gain, a very common complaint among middle-aged women. The endocrine disruptors that cause this have even been given a specific name, obesogens. If you have diabetes, you'll also want to look up the word diabetogen. The endocrine disruptors mimicking our hormones are in many products we wouldn't necessarily think about, but they are also in things we ingest on purpose, such as synthetic estrogen in birth control pills. Women often start using birth control, pills, injections, and IUDs in their late teens while still growing and maturing. In many cases, birth control is recommended by doctors to regulate a young woman's cycle or to help with PMS, except that it's confusing to the endocrine system and interferes with the body's natural processes. If you are using birth control for anything other than contraception, as in using birth control to try to fix other symptoms, you are experiencing a hormonal imbalance. Those symptoms are trying to tell you something. My periods were irregular when I wasn't using birth control, so I appreciated having my body on a schedule. I was on birth control pills for over a decade, thinking they were perfectly safe. I once tried the Depo injection, which was an injectable birth control, and had a terrible reaction to it. The skin on my face broke out in large, ugly, painful boils. When I went back to my doctor to ask if something could be done to counteract what was injected, he said I just needed to wait it out. The birth control product was effective for three months. It was a long, painful, self-conscious wait. The companies in the pharmaceutical industry tell us what is in their hormone pills and injections is the same stuff that we make naturally, but it isn't. Our body knows something isn't quite right. The other, neighborhood, the other households in the neighborhood are aware there's an imposter on the mail delivery team and they aren't sure what to do about it. Other things that interfere with the messenger system are toxins that are in a wide variety of products we are told are safe, like plastic bottles, fire retardant used in the making of new furniture and moisture wicking clothing, food, pesticides and additives, children's toys, clothing, laundry detergents, dryer sheets, prescription medications, over-the-counter medications, pain relievers, anti-inflammatory pills and creams, muscle relaxers, muscle rubs, cough, cold, flu relief, and more. The word fragrance on ingredients ranging from soaps and shampoos to candles, potpourri, laundry detergent, dryer sheets, scented markers for kids to color with, and even dog toys is a chemical concoction that is proprietary. Companies are legally allowed to hide what chemicals are in their products by using the word fragrance instead. It protects them from having to divulge their special recipe secrets. Speaking of special recipes, many functional medicine doctors doctors who look for root causes of illnesses, now believe many diseases once thought to be genetic are seen within family lines because generations pass down their traditional family recipes and lifestyle habits, often unhealthy ones. And not to be understated, patterns of abuse, trauma, and unhealthy coping mechanisms are also often repeated in each generation. The chemical revolution's exponential growth over the past century has given us products we love and think we now couldn't survive without, but the consequences of our constant exposure is dire, and it could be for decades to come. Our bodies are bombarded with hundreds of chemicals on a daily basis from the day we are conceived in our mother's womb. Everything a mother eats, drinks, breathes in, soaks in, and puts on her skin affects her baby inside. Then for our entire lifetime from birth onward, we are continued to be exposed to synthetic harmful toxins in our food and our environment day in and day out. They are mostly filtered out, but not entirely. Bit by bit, there is a buildup of what can't be filtered, and this bioaccumulation is instead stored in our fat as a self-protection mechanism. Eventually, toxin overload, chronic stress, and unhealthy lifestyle choices can wreak havoc. The tipping point often happens in middle age, after a few decades of absorbing everything into our system from trauma to toxins 
and the messenger system getting more and more disrupted and confused. Don't be fooled by economic store products that claim to be natural because they have essential oils in them, or those with leafy green pictures on the front. Premium essential oils are too cost prohibitive to add to cheap mass-produced synthetic cleaning products. Even the cleaning products with plants on their label are often distracting us from seeing the hormone disrupting chemicals in the fine print. Making products appear to be natural with a plant logo on the label and calling the product plant-based because of one or two natural ingredients nestled among the toxins is called greenwashing. It's sneaky marketing to make you think the product is safe. Meanwhile, these endocrine disrupting products are contributing to your autoimmune malfunction. Action steps that you can start today. If you are eating properly, meaning whole foods, plant-based, no meat, seafood, eggs, no dairy, no oils, no packaged meals, and if you are hydrating, exercising daily, but still not seeing and feeling significant health improvements, the next logical step is toxin elimination, a detox of your lifestyle. Go through your kitchen, bathroom, and laundry cupboards and grab every single package and bottle. Read the ingredients on every one of them. Toss out all the ones with the word fragrance on the label. Remember, it doesn't mean smell. This is clever marketing code for lab-made chemical toxins. With any of the remaining ones, look up the ingredients online or use an app that rates how toxic and dangerous a product is. Get in the habit of being disciplined about reading labels before bringing new products into your home. Write a reminder on your shopping list if you need to. Hopefully someday all the toxic synthetic ingredients in everyday household products will be illegal, but in the meantime, we need to be sorting through what is and isn't contributing to autoimmune malfunction. Give yourself more time in your shopping schedule because reading labels takes longer. Your health depends on it. All right, so that was chapter nine in the Autoimmune Warrior's Healing Key. And this book is a bestseller in two categories, lupus and rheumatism. And it's available on Amazon, it's available in bookstores, and available on my website at joeprongerfalkner.com. I hope you enjoyed hearing chapter 9 about the endocrine system, and I will see you next time.